Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we uh, started the game, and, uh, well, we wasted no time in killing off one of our parents. Well, I think our only parent. I don't think our, I don't think we ever hear from uh, Daddy-O's, like, ever. So, yeah, they wasted no time uh, killing her off and telling us, hey, we gotta go save her. So, uh, I guess we're gonna get, get started on that, shall we? Let's see, does uh, Mr. Drippy, a.k.a. the Lord High Lord of the uh, Dancing Fairies who can't seem to stand up straight for a few seconds have anything to say to us? I don't know what it is you want me to tell you, Mun, but I'm afraid I can't help you. Okay, I guess not. Every once in a while you'll be able to talk to him and he'll have uh, something about the um, the plot to say mildly helpful or inquisitive that might point you in the right direction. Drippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies is back, Mun. Back and better than ever. Yeah, he's got a nice little Scottish accent going on. Let's see, can we go check out our mother's room here or no? Yeah, I guess we can. So here's uh Allie's room. I guess it's I guess it's short for Alicia. I mean, kind of uh, coincidental that they have the same name, the the uh the girl she resembles and the well her. Yeah, so apparently everybody has uh, soulmates, so I guess if we go over to this other world, we might run into somebody that looks like Oliver. Uh Drippy, do you have a soulmate over here? No? What was it again? I was sure I had something to tell you. Proper funny it was, too. Knickers. I wonder if... I, I don't think we ever see a soulmate of Drippy. I mean, we see a lot of people's soulmates, uh, but I don't think we ever see his, now that I think about it. But anyways, let's go check out the uh, fireplace here, because apparently there is something hidden here. And I do not think you could have found this at any other point, so this is pretty much the first chance to go find it. And I think it's the only chance, because you have to get it. What could be hidden in a place like this? A mighty spell book! Huh? A book? But it will burn in there. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't now, would it? Really? Aha! Gotcha! <coughs> this is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion. The fount of all wizarding knowledge. The Wizard's Companion. You obtain the Wizard's Companion. Now listen up. I'm going to teach you what's in that Wizard's Companion of yours. If you want to have a read of it, press triangle to open the main menu. You should see it down at the bottom right of there. Then you just need to choose with X and you can leave through the Wizard's Companion to your heart's content. Take a minute or two to have a skim of a few pages, eh? You look like a smart lad, so I'm sure you'll soon get into it. Oh, I almost forgot. The first thing you have to do when you get your hands on the wizard's companion is to make a pledge. You need a vow that you'll do all you can to be worthy of being a wizard. Don't look so flippant worried. It's not that hard. All you have to do is write your name in the book with an open, honest heart. And you don't even have to write all over if you want. You can write bunting, crybaby, or whatever you like. The important thing is that you mean it. Go on, scribble your name down. Okay, sure. So this will be like our uh, save uh, profile name. Uh, let's see, do we have enough for... I don't think we do. Um... Yeah, let's just call it Poodle then. I was going to see if we had enough for Eskimo Poodle, but I don't think we do. Let's see, uh, select is the lowercase. There we go. So yeah, this is just basically what your uh, save file is going to be named, I think. There we go. Are you sure you're happy with the name Poodle? Yeah, happy enough, I guess. You have taken the Wizard's Pledge and are now are privy to the timeless wisdom of the Wizard's Companion. Tidy. Right. Magic in our way over to my world, is it? Hmm, now let's see. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting spells without a wand now, can we? A wand? Why would we have a wand? Oh, that's a pain. Ah, well, can't be helped. We just have to look for one outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right, at least was it. <sighs> Gee, how about we be mean to the guy that's going to go save our world? How about we just treat him like a complete asshat there, guy? Yeah, good job, guy. Righto, time to find ourselves a magic wand. Uh, I think we're going to have a rather hard time of this, uh, since I don't think magic exists in this version of the world. Maybe in your world, but not this world. You mean there's one hidden somewhere around here? Like the spellbook? Ha, you're having a laugh if you think I'm going to make it that easy, man. What do you think I am? Made of wizarding equipment? No, this one's going to be a little more difficult. But our journey over to my world is a hunt for the soul snare, among other things. 
So why don't you treat this as a warm-up? The Easter egg hunt before the wild goose chase, if you will. The... Huh? Um... Okay, I guess. Okay, I'm lying. The thing is, is... I never brought a wand with me. I mean, look at me. The price of my lovability is my small stature, ain't it? I only just managed to carry that flipping book, man. Any more, and I'd, been, I'd have been crushed. So even fairies tell lies, huh? Of course they do. Us fairies are incorrigible liars. Anyway, no point crying over spilled milk. Let's find ourselves a substitute, shall we? A substitute? How can there be a substitute for a magic wand? Well, if you can find something brown and sticky, like maybe a stick, we might just be able to muddle through. Uh, okay. You're sure a stick will work? Do you think I'm sending you up the garden path or something? Fine, I'll give you a hand. Follow me, Bunting. Uh, how about you call me Oliver there, uh, fella? Okay, so we gotta find a stick that we can use as a wand. Um, let's see. Mr. Drippy, you find anything? Eh? What are you looking at? Don't tell me you're thinking of using this lamppost as a flipping wand. Uh, no, we'd have to be rather big to use that as a wand, so I don't think that's gonna work. Well, you can cut that out for a start. It's way too flipping big. We need a stick or something like that, ain't it? Why don't we go and have a look over by there? Uh, okay. Let's see. How you doing, lady? Oh, she's finally cleaning up the, the, the bushes. You know, we could have used one of those sticks, lady. What do you think, Oliver, dear? It was a whole lot better now I've cleaned up all those leaves and branches, hmm? Why, there isn't so much as a twig left. It's spotless. Gee, thanks, lady. I appreciate that. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you for doing that. Oh, there's no, there's no need to thank me, dear. It's my pleasure. How about a swift kick to your rear be your pleasure, lady? Oh, well. I cleaned up every last leaf and branch. Why, there isn't so much as a twig in sight. Oh, well. Let's see. There's Drippy. This is one proper tidy motor, eh? Might get myself one of these. Ahem. Sorry. Now's not really the time, is it? There ain't anything one like over by here, either. Let's go and look over the other side, shall we? Uh, okay. Oh, and when you find something, don't forget to pop it in your bag for safekeeping. Look up at the top left of the main menu and you'll see your bottomless bag. In there you'll find all your items nicely sorted in different categories. There's handy. Use L1 and R1 to ship between the categories. Of course, there ain't much to see at the moment, but when you've got loads of stuff, you'll be glad to you'll be glad of a bit of order in it. Anyway, next time you pocket a tidy item, be sure and have a closer look at it in your bottomless bag. Alright, put it in my bag, sure. The bottomless bag is now accessible from the main menu. All right, so that's basically our uh, inventory, I do believe. Yeah, bottomless bag, uh, wizard's companion. We'll check those out a little later. Um, there's not really anything in there right now. There's some stuff in the wizard's companion, but we'll worry about that later. Actually, is yeah, there's some stuff in there, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, let's see how you guys doing. Urgh. I think my eyes must be a little bigger than my belly. I eat way too much for dinner. Yeah, I used to do the same thing when I was a kid. We would go to uh, Sizzlers and we'd go to the all-you-can-eat buffet. And what I would do is, uh, this was back when I was like eight or nine, I would get the buffet and get like three helpings, and I'd be stuffed, and then it'd come time for dessert, and I'd go get me a nice huge mound of ice cream, take one bite, and be like, oh, 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 I don't feel so good. And my uh, parents said, oh, yeah, you put it on your plate, you eat it. So uh, I'd have to eat all the ice cream, and I'd be sitting there in the car on the way home, oh, my stomach it hurts. Yeah, and every time we went to Sizzler, I would do the exact same thing. I never really learned my lesson, but it was good. It was, I haven't been to Sizzler in forever. I need to go there again. But anyways, uh, the adults here in Motorville are all fine, upstanding citizens, which means you're going to fine, upstanding citizen too. Your mother can be sure of that, wherever she is now. Well, hopefully I grow up to be a fine, outstanding citizen. Oh my, it'll be dark soon. I should be making a start on supper. Let's see, I think now it's our job to actually go around looking for a stick. We don't have to uh, follow Mr. Drippy around here. Uh, can we actually go talk to Philip? Um, I don't know if we can actually. Well, there's a destination. Let's take the long way around and see if we can't uh, see if we can't go talk to Philip here. I spent so long over by here in your world. It feels like my home from home. Reckon they'll let me become a citizen? You might be a little short there, guy. I mean, I have no problem, but oh well. That's the main road that way, man. Uh, something about. Uh, we're not going to find a nice long stick over by there, are we? We might. Oh, okay, how about this? We go to this tree, we break off a branch, and there we go. How's that sound? Or, we uh, go find a nice wooden broom, break off the handle, and there you go. There's a brown and sticky type thing, right?
It's no use. There's nothing around here that looks like a wand. You're not wrong, Bunting. All right, we better split up. Then, broaden the searchlight. I'll go and take another quick look around your house. You stay by here and head up to the outside search, okay? Uh, okay. Okay, brown and sticky. Brown and sticky. Uh, hopefully we don't find a uh, dog turd, because that'd be kind of brown and kind of sticky. Oliver? Huh? Oh, it's you. The girl that nobody else can see, apparently. Or at least, uh, Philip can't see it. Maybe his glasses need checking. You're... you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. So... how do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you... going? Hey! Where did you go? Ollie boy! Why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick, like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me! I wanted to know if it was all right me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. But it looks like I got my answer, huh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground, right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Top. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it. See? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people write in your world? The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But, for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato. What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Do I never thought we'd actually find one. Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? You obtained an old stick. Right. Now we need a place to cast our spell. To cast Gateway, you need somewhere proper massive. You need space to give it oomph, see? Do we really need that much oomph? Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, isn't it? It's sacred, right? You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. You really are new to this, aren't you? This is beginner stuff we're talking about, yeah? Oh, uh, sorry. Now, take me somewhere with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere around by you. Um, the town square, I guess. By the way, Drippy, I'd be more than happy to trade you in for a younger, prettier model who doesn't uh, belittle me for having feelings about my mother dying. So, sorry about that uh, random little cut right there, but uh, yeah, stuff happened. Oh well. Um, Alright, so basically we gotta go find a place to cast uh, Gateway in order to venture into this other world and start our saving spree for our darling mother. Um, so the star is right there. We could go try to talk to uh, Philip at his house or garage, but there's no one there. So let's just uh, head on out and just, well, go cast our spell. Let's see. Just, yeah, not really anything new we can do in the... Um, in the... <coughs> Mini right now. Uh, what I'm going to do for stuff like the Wizard's Companion is I'm just going to do that for, uh, what is it? Like, end of episode type of stuff. Like, um, like if something in there becomes pertinent, I'll show it off at the end of the episode after 
I say my goodbyes and stuff. That way you guys have time to read it and stuff like that and all that good stuff. I mean, there's a few things that I will be checking out throughout the game, but for the most part, I'll just try to keep it towards the end. That way it's a nice, easy spot to um, collect. And I'll probably end up also just uh, recording as much of the uh, Wizard's Companion um, in a bonus episode. Just try to get the whole thing out there for you guys. But anyways, uh, let me see something here. We got, where is it? In our bottomless bag, we go to our important items, and there we go. We got our old stick right there. So that is a wand. Uh, Oliver is going to be a spellcaster. He's going to be, um, what is it? He's going to be casting spells for the most part. If you notice over there, down in the, uh, what is that, the fourth row below the symbols, you'll see a red sword off to the left and a blue sword with little sparkles. Uh, it might be green, I'm not sure. I guess it could be green. Off to the right with uh, the little sparkles right there. The left sword, that is physical attack power. The right sword with the sparkles, that is magical attack power. So yeah, Oliver is going to be a... Well, he's going to be a wizard because he's got wands. So there we go. And I guess it's automatically equipped, but it's not showing up in our weapon slot right here at the moment. So, oh well. And another neat little feature here... Um, if we go to the wand, we'll see that it has symbols on there. If you have the, what is it, the physical game and you have the uh, instruction manual that came with the game, you can actually go check out what those, uh, what those letters mean. So we can actually check that out right now in our software manual since we have the, uh, the, dig the digital version. So let's see. Um, can we... All right. Let's see if we can't... Uh, we, we can kind of do it this way, but it's probably easier to just go the other way. Uh, let's see. All right, let's try this again. So the first letter is uh, kind of upside down L and an O, and the other one is kind of a 6 and an O. So let's see what we got here. Um, so we got E is the first letter. Uh, the one that looks like a 6 is and an O is P. So... Okay, so EP. Let's see, and then kind of a backwards P and an L. I mean, you don't have to read these. It's just something a little fun, I guess. There's an O, and then let's see, where is the backwards L? Okay, that's kind of a that's kind of an H. Okay. So EPOH, and let's see, we got another kind of P looking thing and a weird something let's see epoh and then let's see we got let's see that's a g that's an n that's a i or a j i think okay and then some more six looking things so let's see let's see let's see there's okay r and then a b okay well i'll just tell you right now um if you spell it out backwards it spells bring hope i don't know why it spelled out backwards there but oh well so there you go it just uh, says bring hope uh in reverse that's a neat little message I'm not sure why it says that but it does so there we go anyways Let's go ahead and knock it right over by the car. Yeah, especially that guy right there. There you go. The town square is the best place for miles around to see the night sky. The bench by the fountain is my special stargazing spot. Why good evening, Oliver? What are you doing out so late? Uh, I'm just being a kid, you know. I mean, I was out late the other night. That didn't work out so well. Gee, it's gotten kind of dark. I think I'll run on home soon. I wonder if you can go back into Miss Layla's shop over here. I don't think you can since, well, it's the middle of the night, but we could always try. I guess they wouldn't be open at this time of day, huh? Yeah, I guess not. Uh, Drippy, you got anything to say? Watch the road, Ollie boy. We don't want you getting squished, squished now, do we? Eh, probably not. I mean, we've already had one vehicle-related accident. We don't want a round two. Do you really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? Go on, Ollie boy. Cast Gateway. Um... Alright, so here's our gateway here we gotta cast. 
Um, by the way, in the DS version of the game, you notice how it's uh, kind of a symbol off to the right there for the spell? I think you, I think in the DS version of the game, you actually uh, drew the spell, uh, the spells, um, on the touch screen. But we don't have to do that here, since, well, we don't really have a convenient touch screen. So, anyways, let's just cast our gateway spell. Opens up a doorway that transports the caster between worlds. By the way, I don't think we can ever come back to um, the town square right here. I think we're just here for this uh, this little cutscene purpose, and that's pretty much it. We can't ever come here again, so... Oh, well. That's it, man! You got it! Baby Bunting. For the last time, it's Oliver! Hey, it's not bad work for a crybaby, this. So this is your world. Ah, home at last. But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of Hulk. Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh-huh. Huh? Jeepers. Oh, Nickers! Where did he spring from? Huh? Ah! What do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's a gym for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Huh? Huh? Ah! Look lively. He's making his move. Watch this. Hey, hey, ten seconds into the uh, new world, and they already want us, uh, well, beating up the local wildlife. Nice. Alright, so let's press the X button to attack. And don't fret, Ollie boy. Let your old pal Drippy talk you through the basics of battle. First off, take a look at that green gauge by there. That shows your health points. Your HP. Alright, so we got a whopping 35 HP. The more HP you have, the healthier you are. But if you run out, you'll go unconscious. You see the blue gauge underneath that? That's your magic points MP, in it? Don't worry about magic for now, man. Let's talk about beasties first, shall we? You can see lots of information about them up by here on the right. There's useful, eh? The red gauge shows you their HP. Get that down to nothing, and you've won. And these speech bubble thingies down by here are the commands you can use in battle. Well, that's enough to be going on with. Try giving the rotter a smack with your stick. Just use the directional pads to select attack, confirm your choice with X, and Bob's your uncle. Righto, get cracking with the whacking. Nice. So yeah, so what you do here for the, uh... Well, if we ever get a chance to, uh... Oh, I was trying to... I was like, why Why am I not moving here? Alright, so you, you select the attack button, and then you select your enemy, and then you can move around to uh, to be attacking. Um, it's not letting me do it too much right now, because it was that's the tutorial part there. Teddy, or should I say, nice. That's what they say when you find an enemy's weak spot or block a big attack, see? Oh, look at that, it's dropped something. You'd best pick it up, eh? Alright, this little thing right here... 
That's what's known as a Glim Molly, boy. Enemies drop them in the heat of battle. Green Glims like that one you just grab will restore a few of your HP. And blue ones give you MP back instead. Same color as the gauge, see? Tidy. Oh, and you can also give your HP and MP a boost of spells and items, ain't it? Of course, you'll just have to take my word for that. What well, with you not having any of them at the moment. Okie doke, that's enough for me. It's time for you to practice what I preach. Go on, boy Bach. Give him what for. Alright, so yeah, we, we can run around and uh, try to avoid this guy's attack, so that's pretty nice. And then select our attack and go up to him. Uh, see that little circle right there? That is our attack um, our attack timing, pretty much. Basically, uh, well, you'll, uh, you'll continue, continue attacking until that uh, finishes up. And there we go. And just like any good RPG, we get experience and money. Uh, money's actually going to be reasonably scarce throughout the game because uh, enemies are not going to be dropping a whole lot of it. I mean, some drop a fair amount, but this is the type of game where you're going to be uh, saving your pennies to buy some of the better upgrades because, well, they're going to be expensive. Well, hey, proper tidy. Nice one, Ollie boy. Jeepers, creepers. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up, and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy. But where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. You might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder, didn't I? Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shadar showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much, they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks brick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted. Broken-hearted? Like, sad? Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness! We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time! Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will! And that's why we need to find you a better wand! Alright. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Tidy! And we have got our first trophy out of this world for, well, I'll just say it's for making our way to the, uh, well, the other world here. Ain't it beautiful, Ollie boy? Ah, it's good to be back. Our world is absolutely riddled with monsters. If one of them spots you, you'll see a big exclamation pop up over its head, and it'll charge. When it gets within touching distance, you'll have a fight in your hands. If you run out of HP in the middle of a battle, you'll be out for the count. So be careful, ain't it? Oh, and here's a tidy little technique for you. If you sneak up behind monsters without them noticing, you can get the first hit in, giving you the upper hand. The only thing is, it works the other way around, too. If a monster sneaks up on you, they'll be able to get the first hit in, the rotters. Oh yeah, here. It's just a little something. Consider it a gift from the Lord High Lord of the Fairies. And we get three loaves of white bread, which uh, restore 30 HP each. Uh, thanks. But what do I do with these? Just have a munch on one when you're feeling a bit ropey, and it'll be right as rain in no time, man. But a wizard cannot live by bread alone, Ollie boy. He needs a proper wand and all. And that knobbly thing in your hand is doing my flipping head in. See that big castle to the north? That's Ding Dong Dell, that is. I reckon we'll find ourselves a wand by there. So let's get moving, shall we? Okay. Alright, so let's make our way to that little building right there, Ding Dong Dell. But before we do that, let's go around over here. And you see this little uh, sparkly thing? This is a harvest point. So you go up to it, press the X button. 
and you get some items. In this case, booster shoots. All right, don't let this guy sneak up on you because that means what what happens when they sneak up on you is you won't be able to attack uh, for their first cycle of attacks, pretty much. So it's not going to work out too well. And ow, that kind of hurt. All right, let's go attack this guy. Yeah, for right now we can't really do a whole lot except whack him with our wand, but we'll be able to do more later. And by the way, uh, to use your items, just uh, press left and right on the D-pad, and you can use your other items besides, like, attack. You, can, uh, you got defend, where you uh, defend for your cycle instead of actually uh, attacking there. Take much less damage. Uh, nice will occasionally uh, generate glims. Uh, there we go. Which restore the HP, obviously. Uh, Drippy occasionally uh, digs some up out of the ground, but it's not very, uh, not very frequent, I don't think. And after you finish the uh, deal the finishing blow, you have a few seconds to run around and try to grab those glims in order to uh, restore your HP or your MP or, or whatnot. So that's pretty nice. We can we can deal with that. All right, let's see. Anything else to say there, Drippy? What's the matter? Never seen a castle before? Well, I've seen them in like fairy tales and stuff, but not a whole particular a lot. All right, so let's see. What else can we do around here? Um, I know there's a few more uh, harvest points we can we can nab that aren't too far away. Uh, let's see. Um, let me see where are you guys. Uh, let's see. We are trying to go to the castle over there. So if we go to... Let's see. Let's go to the east a little bit. You might as well fight these guys for a little bit of experience. I mean, you don't have to, but it's, it's, uh, it's worth it, I'd say. Let's see, where are we looking for here? Um, you know, let's fight this little snake guy, why not? There we go, that's the sparkling point I was looking for off of the side right there. By the way, a lot of these items that we're getting, let's they're not going to be useful for a while, but it's always nice to just stockpile on them, so that's not that's not a bad thing. Try to go after him right now. I mean, you don't have to, but... And... What was that, a heal spell? <clears throat> not entirely sure, but I think that was for him healing. Nice. And are we going to get any items out of that? No? Yeah, uh, Glimbs will be dropping more frequently later on uh, once we actually do uh, better here. But for the time being, they're going to be mildly scarce. And there we go. We got our first level up. Let's see. We got some uh, HP, some MP. Our physical attack, which like I said, is the red sword. Our magical attack, which is either the green or the blue sword. Our accuracy, defense, magic defense, and evasion. So pretty standard stuff. It's not too bad. And let's see what's over here in this little sparkly town. These things are going to be hidden all over the place, so we're going to be able to find these all over. All right, and there should be one a little... There we go, right up there to the north right there. And you know what? Let's just ignore this guy for the time being and grab this. And there we go. We got a bottle of spring water. Very nice. You know what? Eh, yeah, we're good. Okay, let's ignore that guy. Luckily, some of these guys charge in straight lines at you, so it's not too hard to avoid their advances, I guess. All right, let's see. Um, let me show you something else here, if I can. Uh, do we have... I don't think we have the status screen, do we? No? Oh, well. But yeah, there's our white bread right there for our 30 HP. Uh, I, th I thought we had the um, status screen, but... Oh, well. We'll look at that later, I guess. Oh, Nickers. There's something I forgot to tell you. Well, what's that, Mr. Drippy? Here in my world, you can use the, R, the right analog stick to change your viewpoint, which I've already been doing. If you're having any trouble with the controls, go to settings in your main menu and have a fiddle with them. You can, you can switch vibration on and off there as well, ain't it? Speaking personally, I'd have it on. A rumble just ain't a rumble without a bit of a rumble, is it? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of vibration stuff in games. I don't know why. I just don't really care for it. Now, I know this is a lot to take in, Ollie boy, but I'm sure you'll get used to it. Uh, I guess. Let's see. Can we look at the map here? Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, there is, uh, well, here we are right now. Uh, we don't have a, we don't have a world map at the moment, but this is our very first area of the world, and it's not a, it's not a bad sized little area. It's got plenty of stuff to do in it, actually. So, let's go to the castle up here. I don't think there's any more harvest points over here, so we're good. Uh, 
looks to me like a classic case of broken heartedness. Broken heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls just uh, aren't themselves. Go all weird and useless. Uh, so his heart was broken uh, by. Keep up, will you? Shadar, innit? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But if he stays that way, we can't get into Ding Zong Dell. You need better cure him, innit, Olive Boy? It's time to mend your first broken heart. Mend it? But how do I do that? Well, you can't do it just yet. There's a couple of things we'll be needing first. But I know an old man who's got just what we need. Proper useful I am, eh? An old man? What old man? What do you mean, what old man? THE old man, ain't it? Lives in a wood to the north of here. Proper deep and deeply dark it is. That's why they call it the deep dark wood. Makes sense, I guess. Oh you gonna say anything else, sir, fella? You should have a read of your wizard's companion once in a while, man. It's a wizardly thing to do. Like I said, we'll be doing that eventually. All right. Um. Yeah, our next next destination is actually out of the uh, out of the town here. But there's our first look at the town of Ding Dong Dell that we'll be going into reasonably soon. So very nice. Let's see if anybody has anything interesting to say. It doesn't look like any of us are going anywhere in the near future. What's going on here? They can't keep us all waiting like this. I wonder why they're not letting anyone in. Oh dear, I do hope they let us in soon. I need to buy the ingredients for my husband's favorite dinner. Mama, I need pee pee. Apparently she needs to go potty. Well, kid, here's what you do. You pick a nice tree over there, you make sure no one's looking, and you go squat in the bushes. Or something like that. Just tell everyone, hey, look to the other direction. This is a disgrace. I've been here for hours. When are they going to start letting people in? Uh, probably not anytime soon. They've got to let us in. Mother will go spare if I'm late again. I swear that girl over there keeps looking at me. I hope they keep us out here a little longer. Uh, which girl are you talking about? Um, you're not talking about Granny over here, are you? I mean, sure she's got the experience, but uh, what is she like, a slightly younger model like uh, Milfy over here? How you doing there, uh, well, Mr. Depressed Guy? <sighs> Sigh. Hung up, up, one, two, one, two. Hmm? You want to enter the town, do you? Well, I'm afraid that's impossible at the moment. It's my colleague, you see. He's the one in charge of letting people in, but recently, he's just been refusing to do it. He says he can't be bothered. Okay, so why don't you go over there and, uh... Okay, here's an idea. How about the guy that has all the energy switch with the guy that's damn near standing up asleep and you do whatever it is you gotta do to open the gate. That way this guy can go mope off to the side and take a nap in the bushes or something. I don't know. Recover his lost energy. That'd be the the smart thing to do is just let the other car open the gate. But I uh, don't think that's gonna work out. Alright, so let's see what else we gotta do around here. Alright, so our next destination is here to the, what is it, northwest. So, eh, more, eh, I guess northwest, yeah. I was going to say more north than west, but it's right smack dab in the middle, actually. So, that is going to be the deep, dark uh, woods that we got to be going on to next time. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Have a good night. Let's see if I can't find that uh, deep, dark woods in the uh, wizard's command here. I'm not sure if I can, but we'll try. Uh, let's see. I guess not. Okay. So. Oh well. We'll go over that later. But anyways guys. I'll see you then.